first thing you want to do right now is follow me on Instagram. Hey everyone, it's me, that is. So in today's video, I'm going to be reading your responses to my Instagram story that I posted, I think, four days ago. Um, star stable things nobody understands. And so I'm going to be reading those while training with you guys. So if you want to train with me, that'll be awesome. You can just leave this video in the background and we can train together. I would really appreciate it if you'd follow me on Instagram. I don't know why I have 10k um, followers there and I have like 46k on YouTube. It's just, it's weird. And... I'm also going to be making more videos like this one, asking you guys on my story for things and responses. And if you're not following me, you cannot um, see them. So yeah. All right. The first response is from my friend Robbie. Pretending to gallop on your fingers on your keyboard arrows when moving your horse. I've never done that and I've never heard anyone do that before. Um, so that's interesting. And how do you even do that? Let me try it now. Yes, I can do it. The struggle to find adult players and not kids. You know, I could relate to that if I tried to find people to play this game with, but I've just... It's so nice to be alone. Like, I'm the most introverted extrovert you would know. And... Like, when it comes to games, I'm no longer looking for people to play with. I don't know why. I just... I used to do that. Now I'm like, I want to play alone and I don't want to hear about anyone. And like, nothing happened. Like, no bad experiences that made me become like this. It's just... I don't know, I feel like to me, there's such a big gap now between virtual friends and real life friends. Like, I just see the benefits of having real life friends, and I would rather invest in that than in virtual friends. But that's just my opinion, and it doesn't mean that virtual friends do not exist or that they're like bad or anything. But yeah, I would understand the struggle because I'm 20, even though people probably think I'm 15, you know what I mean? Um, I'm 20 and. If I were to look for people to play with, I would probably not want to play with kids. Now, what does kid mean? This is also really subjective because at the same time, I would not say that being young means you're also immature because I have met in my life 40 year olds that are as mature as a 12 year old. And I've met 12 year olds mature, more mature than what you would expect for a 12 year old. You know what I mean? So like age does not define maturity in my opinion. Getting lost in the grind of training a horse and zoning out for hours. Man, it just happens. You know, I feel like training a horse is no longer challenging and it's become more like of a task than anything. It's not even as fun. So then, yeah, that's why we just zone out. Oh, this one's so good. Why are horses can swim? They basically walk to a certain point in the water. Yeah, it just makes no sense. Horses in real life, they swim. And dude, the, the loading thing when you swim for like an amount of time, that, oh man, that makes me so mad. You know, when they send you back to the shore because your horse cannot swim. Dude, it's a horse, okay? Let it swim. And don't make this game annoying. I don't like games when you cannot swim and you cannot do fun things. Like you're taking away something fun from me. I would love to swim in the game. Why do I need to see that bar loading that's basically warning me that I'm gonna be sent back to the shore because my horse cannot swim? Yeah, I wish Star Stable would change that. And I know they have changed that to certain places, like Fort Pinta, for example. I'm pretty sure you can you can swim at the Fort Pinta beach, and you couldn't before. Like, years back, you could not do that. The Generation 3 Frisians. <laughs> that's a good roast. Yeah, no, they're just freaking dogs, dude. The Generation 3 Frisian horses are just like... It's just embarrassing to even have them in the game. Yeah, I don't know, the Generation 3 Frisians are something else, that's all I'm gonna say. Why you can dismount everywhere, or anywhere. Yeah, it's weird, it's weird. We should be able to dismount anywhere, but we can't do that. And even when you're close to like buying horses, for example, like when I made a video buying the Pasofino horse, I pressed space on my keyboard, wanting to see if there's like a special animation if you do that. And because I was near to the horses that were being sold there, my horse did not do anything, it did not react to me pressing space. So I thought that, you know, there's no special animation when you press space. And I uploaded a video like that. And then people told me in the comments that the reason nothing showed up is because it was close to horses that were being sold there. Yeah, that also doesn't make sense. There are many things that don't make sense in this game. <laughs> the desperate urge to sell all your horses and then rebuy them right after. Dude, who does that? I've never heard anyone have that urge and that's kind of weird. Dude, I sound so judgmental, I'm such a rat. That's kinda sus. 
I've never heard anyone say that or have that urge. I think I've only sold two horses in my entire life from this game. I sold a curly horse, I'm pretty sure I made a video about it, and then I sold... What else did I sell? I don't know what it was, dude, but I don't really ever sell horses in this game. It's just really weird to do that. Like, if I were to get some star points back, I would gladly do it. You know what I mean? But it's just humiliating that we're getting Jorvik shillings back. And like, what, 1,500? That's nothing. <laughs> the reason they made the spider sound so annoying. It is annoying, especially when you're a lazy rat like me and you never collect them and look for them and you just hear them all the time in the game. Um, it is annoying. They make bundles not once constantly. Dude, not only that, but the prices are just ridiculous for the things that you get. You get like a pet, which again, the pets are like what, 350 or 400 star coins in the game, which is ridiculous again. And then you get tack which you can also buy, I think, in the game sometimes. Sometimes you can't, pretty sure. Yeah, they could offer more, at least. I understand that they want to make money because they're a company, they're a business, and that's how it works, but at least offer us more, or at least lower the prices of the bundles, because they're ridiculous, dude. Well, just the Star Queen's prices alone are really expensive. Oh yeah, this one, hitting invisible walls all the time. Dude, that is the most annoying, probably one of the most annoying things from this game. Or like when you're in a champ and you jump, and you just stop, like the horse just stops as if it knocks into something. And I would want to demonstrate that to you guys, I think after finishing the race. If you jump a bit too high, but it's not too high to get a dangerous fall, your horse just stops. And that's happened to me in the Yorvik Stables Champ so many times. Well, let me see how I could demonstrate that. It's usually when like the terrain is not flat entirely. So let me try, what if I jump? from here. No, we didn't stop. So after a million times, I got to show you guys what I actually was talking about. So this is the type of stop that I was talking about. This is the thing that makes me want to uninstall the game and never play it again. I used to do this, taking pictures of other people's outfits and then never using them. I used to do that, actually. Um, I used to, you know, look at people and like their outfit and just be a creep and just take screenshots of them. Um, and then try and recreate the outfit or something. Not anymore, I used to do that. I'm ashamed to say that I used to do that, but I did. Accidentally leaving the game when you meant to call for pickup. Dude, I've done that a few times, and it's not fun. How addictive it can become. When I got into this game, it was, I think, July of 2015, and when I tell you that that's when my... Should I go this in depth? Like I was gonna say something pretty personal, but I have had issues with eating because I would literally get on the game as soon as I would wake up and then play non-stop to like 5 p.m. and then eat for the first time. And I think that's when it all kind of started going downhill for me when it comes to like health-wise, and I know this might sound really funny, maybe not, but it got pretty bad. Like I remember that and it, I was really addicted. And that's also because I was new to the game and there were so many things to do. And it's like when you get caught up in a quest and you're doing something, you can't just leave it like while you're in the middle of it. You know what I mean? You can't just get up and do something like eat or whatever. I mean, you can, you can, but you usually don't do that. I don't do that. Um, recently, actually, I was doing quests and my mom called me to do something and I forgot entirely. Like I, I was like, yeah, I'm coming and I forgot because I was doing something in Star Sable, on Star Sable. So it can become addictive. I've lived that and I've suffered the consequences of it. Um, don't want to go too much in depth. It's just that I literally starved myself because of how um, connected I was to what I was doing in the game. So that was not fun. How every horse is called tolerant. Dude, I don't know why they removed that. It was fun that some horses were um, different than others and they had something um, that only they had in the game, which was the cold tolerancy. Is that a word, tolerancy? I don't know. Now it is. But yeah, they they removed that, and it's weird because the Fjords have never been something I liked, okay? I liked the, the generation once, when you had to build a reputation with the people from Dino Valley to buy them. It felt like only the pros had Fjords, it was pretty hard to get them. Now that everyone has them and that you can just get them, it's not special anymore, it's just boring. And... Like with the North Swedish horses, I remember people used to buy them just to get into Dino Valley and to like be fast. 
this was like back in 2015, 2016, you know what I mean? I lived those moments and it was really cool Like people were buying horses for a specific thing. Now it's kind of like sad that they removed that. In the same time, it was annoying that the horses were slow in the in other in the in Dino Valley. And I remember with ponies too. Ponies used to be really slow, um, and one day they just removed that and they made them as fast as horses. And yeah, it's now less annoying to ride them. And now people actually ride the ponies because people didn't really ride them because of how slow they were. I didn't ride them because of how slow they were. I would only take them to the pony champ. And so I understand why Star Stable did that, because they want people to actually use these horses and the ponies too. But in the same time, it takes away from the realistic aspect of the game, you know what I mean? But um, I'm not complaining, I like the fact that the ponies are fast. However, I do understand that it's... It's kind of odd, you know, it's kind of really unrealistic and weird. But you can't have both, you know what I mean? Reigns and the horses next, so freaking annoying. Dude, I know. Look at this. Is it that hard to actually change that? It probably is. It might be hard. Maybe they have to manually change this. You know, take every rain. Look at how it goes in the horse's neck. Dude, it is really annoying. And it's sad because it's such a small and minor thing. They could probably change that if they tried. Yeah, I don't know why they're not changing that. Because it's been like this for years now. I think it's always been like this though. Ever since Star Stable came out, the reins were in the horse's neck. The storyline, it's confusing. I'm not one to speak. I've literally skipped all the voice lines and all the whatever it is storylines i did not read a single thing i've got no idea what i'm playing i literally have no idea what the story is about i have no idea what this game is about i'm gonna break it to you right now i have no idea what this game is about well when it comes to the storyline because for some reason this game revolves around that storyline and i don't know what it is about i don't care i'm okay with not knowing i know it's about this one girl that has like Pow superpowers and has to like do something. Wow, Dennis, that was. <laughs> I'm just kind of shut up. Why some of the attack does not fit all the breeds? Yeah, I don't know why they're doing that. It's kind of annoying. They just probably want to push out more updates and things for us to buy because if they would take the time to actually first fit attack on all breeds and then push them out for us to buy, that would be different. But that would take more time. And they want weekly updates, which I'm against. But I would rather have an update like once a month and you know, have a good update and a big update, not small, minor things. But Star Sail has been doing a better job with that because... Dude, the updates were actually, like, freaking embarrassing and ridiculous at one point. Like, we would get, like, a new race, you know what I mean? Or, like, new attack and that's it. But now I feel like they're bringing out more things for us to do every week, which is... which is good, but... Yeah, it's probably something that they stand... Um, they stand for. It's probably one of their values to you know, have weekly updates, like I'm pretty sure they say that on their website and everything, like when they also advertise the game, they probably say that. And it sounds really attractive for new players. So they're probably not gonna stop updating the game every week. Two new dressage jackets cost more than an old pony, just feels wrong. There are many things that feel wrong when it comes to prices. I just said earlier how the pets are so expensive. They're almost, they're literally the same price as certain horses. Like the old horses. Some of them are like 400 or like 380 star coins. And some pets can go above that. The gravity. The gravity in this game is a bit questionable. Even when a horse falls down, I feel like the speed it falls down with is just unreal. Like it's not realistic. When kids steal their parents' credit card to buy star coins. Do people still do that? <laughs> Dude, if my child did that, it would be game over. The way I said that sounds as if I have a child, and just to let you guys all know, I don't have any children, okay? If I had a child and they did that to me, it would be game over for them rats. If you guys are still alive after doing that, then that's great. That's great news. The game wasn't better in the past, we just grew up. You know, I agreed with that. I've actually recently watched a video of like, you know, nostalgia, star stable, whatever, showcasing how the game used to look like. Um, back in the days and the game was really rough like the game looked really bad but the reason we were so attached to it is because i mean the reason we are attached to it is because of how we felt in the moment when playing the game and it's also different when you just find out about a game you have to discover everything everything feels new interesting you know and the game was in fact worse than it is now 
And the reason we, we long for that is because we just perceived the game differently because we were younger. And that is just how it's going to always be, I believe. How boring the story quest is, that's what I've been saying for this whole time. When you're questing and the NPC is like... I've always despised that sound, it always made me so annoyed. Literally dying from slipping down a tiny cliff, that is really annoying. I wish we did not have this thing in the game. Can you guys imagine how fun the game would be if we would not get any dangerous foes? We would literally be parkouring in this game. It would be so fun, dude. We need to start a petition to remove that dangerous fall. It's really taking away and stealing all our fun. Can you imagine the potential that has? Can you imagine how much fun we would have to like no longer have the dangerous fall? We would be able to like literally jump off a freaking mountain and still survive and go downhill and just slide. Like that would be so fun, dude. I'm bored while having dailies, horses to train, and reputation to build. Well, you see, that's what makes the game boring. Having to train your horse is boring. Having to build reputation is really boring. Having to do quests is really boring. Like, the reason we're bored is not because... Like, there are things to do in the game, but they're just boring, man. They're just boring. Like, some things just really are boring. Sometimes training can be fun, but it gets boring really fast. That's why sometimes we even need someone to listen to and we're training, because it's just boring. That's why we turn on a podcast, that's why we listen to videos when we train, because training alone is boring, and it shouldn't be boring. Star Simple should make it really fun, but anyway, the whole racing mechanics are boring, so they first have to change that to make it more fun and challenging to race. So that will wrap it up for today's video, guys. There are a lot of things in this game that make absolutely no sense, and in this video I only talked about a few of them. There are endless things that make absolutely no sense in this game, and I think that every game has its own bugs and you know, weird things that make no sense. Again, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I would really appreciate that, at Denise Whitestorm. If you guys want to see more content from me, then please subscribe, ring the bell, like this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, everyone!